little cars want to be electric cars. There's less for that battery to have to lug around, that little electric motor to have to get up and go. Well, here's a little car that's now an electric car as well. The Fiat 500, now in the E version. 100 miles on a charge in real-world city driving is what Fiat's projecting. Probably around 70-something in mixed use. Highway is harder on EVs than city. A charge on a 240 high current circuit, which is not unreasonable to have at your home, should take about four hours. In other words, there's not a huge battery in this car because there's not a huge amount of bulk in this car. It's a nice benefit of having a smaller platform when you go electric. Some other changes you're going to see on this guy, obviously there's no transmission in the typical sense, so you've just got that interesting little push button deal, that reverse neutral drive and park thing. You've also got a slicker body on this car. They've done a bunch of smoothing. I mean, check out that front grill. That's also more of, a, of an airflow manager, not so much a grill. There's no engine in there. To allow this car to be slipperier and to help get as much range as possible. No more speedometer in that central pod, that iconic 500 pod. Instead, you've now got what looks to be about a 7-inch round color LCD that has everything in there, including all kinds of indications of charge, range, and things like that. There will be a pair of apps that will connect to this car, iOS and Android, right from the get. You can send destinations to the vehicle, check its charge state, tell it to charge. That's pretty routine stuff, actually, in the EV industry, but at least they're not missing a beat. One place where I think they might miss a beat is they're still using that dopey, stock-mounted tom-tom you stick in the top of the dash. I've not been fond of it when I've tried it before. Maybe the integration is better in this car, but I doubt it. I got a feeling you're going to be using your phone a lot. No word on pricing yet. It's a little early, but this car will be out Q2 of 2013. That prime means smack in the middle of the year. We'll know a lot more then, and we'll get one in for a driving test ASAP.